Hi guys, it's Samantha and I am back today with another tag video. It is the social media book tag and I was tagged forever ago by somebody who I can't remember but I will go and look that up and I'll flash their name on the screen and I'll link their channel down below. And I know I'm like the last person on booktube to do this but I'm finally doing it and it's a fun tag of course because I love tags so let's just do this thing. Also this tag was created by Faulty Devices so let us get cracking. First question is Twitter. Your favorite shortest book? For this one I'm going to go with Silent Gondoliers by William Goldman who is the author of The Princess Bride. This is a very good book from what I remember and it's been a long time though. I really need to reread it. I remember really enjoying it at the time and it has pretty cool illustrations and things in it. So I need to reread this because I remember it being quite good but I don't necessarily remember what happens. So yes, yes. Next question is Facebook, a book everyone pressured you into reading. For this question, I'm gonna have to go with Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This is outside my normal genre but everybody kept talking about how excellent it was and I was interested in trying something new outside of the genres that I read so I picked it up and I don't regret it. Though this isn't my favorite in the series so far, that being Scarlet, though I have yet to read Cress so maybe Cress will be my favorite, I don't know. But it was still a really good series. It's a fun read, it's a fun take on fairy tales, and I enjoyed it. So thanks booktube for pressuring me into reading this one. The next question is uh, Tumblr, a book you've read before it was cool. I actually have two for this one because I'm a total hipster. So, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show what I read before it was cool. So the first one is The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. My parents had me read these when I was 11 years old and I love them. If you watch my videos you'll know how much I adore The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, but I read them when I was 11 and that was five, six years before the movies ever came into existence and when they surged in popularity again. So I read these a long, long time ago. So I read these before they were cool. The next book was The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I read this in 2007 when it first came out. I read this before anybody had ever heard of it and I remember trying to get people to read them. I was like, I never heard of that book. It doesn't sound very good. And I'm like, no, you have to read it. It's the best thing ever. So I've been really happy to see that it has surged in popularity on booktube and that people are enjoying it because Patrick Rothfuss has created an amazing book series and I'm still waiting for book three. But I'm excited for the book coming out next month. So that's something anyway, I'll take it. The next question is MySpace, a book you don't remember whether you liked it or not. So this one's kind of a hard one for me to answer. I think I'm going to have to go with The Will of the Empress by Tamora Pierce. It's like, uh, it's set after her circle opens books, her circle of magic books, when all those four people meet up together in this book. I read it when it first came out back in 2005 and I imagine I like it because I love pretty much all of Tamora Pierce's works but I don't really remember. I don't even remember what happens. I need to reread those series. It's been way too long. I think the last time I read them, I was a junior in high school the last time I read these, so I really need to reread them and see what I thought because I don't remember. I imagine I like it, but I'm embarrassed to say I don't honestly remember. So yeah, it's my MySpace. The next question is Instagram, a book that was so beautiful that you had to Instagram it. For this question, I chose Fairy Tales from Around the World by Andrew Lang, and I did in fact Instagram this because it's gorgeous. It's one of the Barnes and Noble's classics editions, so it's leather bound or you know probably like vinyl. I doubt it's actual leather, but it's so pretty. I mean, look at it. There's a little bit of a glare from my light, but look at it. And the pages are gilded. It comes with a bookmark. And look at the spine. The spine is so pretty. Yeah, it's it's a very pretty book. It's actually quite heavy too, but. <sighs> It's gorgeous. I love the Barnes & Noble's Classics Editions. They have so many pretty books. So I was a little bummed because last time I went to my Barnes & Noble I wanted to get Wuthering Heights and their Classics Editions and they didn't have it. I don't know what happened. They put calendars where they had those books at and I could not find it and nobody seemed to know if they were gonna, when they are going to get more in. I'm like, but I wanted it. So I'll keep my eye out. Hopefully I'll be able to run into it again. Although I could probably get it on their website in hindsight. Logic. Who needs it? The next one is YouTube, a book you wish would be turned into a movie. For this question, I am going with Michael J. Sullivan's Ryeria Revelations books. Again, if you are familiar with my channel, you will know I rant and rave about these books because they are awesome. So yes, they need to be made into a movie because it would make the most epic of movies. They could do it like the Little of the Rings style, you know, make 
more than one movie per book. Like, what? this could easily be two movies. So, there's three of them. So, you could have six movies. They could make a gold mine. But they would make excellent movies. There's lots going on. Political intrigue. There's mystery. There's fantasy. There's elves, kind of. Different. Not your typical elves, though. That's all I'll say. There's even some dwarves in here. There's sword fighting. There's a whole bunch of action. They would make awesome movies. And they make Hollywood a lot of money. So Hollywood, if you're watching this, which I strongly doubt, make this into movies, please. And the last question is Goodreads. A book you recommend to everyone. Can you guess what book I'm going to hold up for this one? I bet you can't guess because I'm sure you've never seen it before. I'm sure I've never mentioned it once in any of my videos ever. I bet it's going to be new. Uh, no, no, it's not. It's not new. It's forever going to be Inda by Sherwood Smith. Nobody talks about these books and they should because they are awesome and they need to be talked about because they are awesome. This is the first book in a series of four and they are epic and wonderful, full of adventure and mystery, political intrigue and pirates. Yes, I said pirates. So everybody and their brother and their dogs and their aunts and whoever else can read. Of course, dogs can't read, I know that, but you need to read Inda by Sherwood Smith. It needs to happen, guys. You just you just need to do it. You won't regret it. Of course, you know, it's gonna be really awkward if people start reading Inda and the Ryuri Revelations books and then they hate them and I'm gonna be over here in my little corner and like, but I like them. They're wonderful, which really is all that matters. Alright guys, that was my social media book tag. Let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts were. And I'm not sure who I'm going to tag yet because I think I'm one of the last people on booktube to do this tag. But I will think about it and I will link their channels down below so check in the box to see if you have been tagged. And thank you guys for watching and until next time, as always, happy reading and bye! Hi guys, it's Samantha and I am back today to film another new tag video for you guys. I am here today to film the Taylor Swift book tag. I was 